God's beauty is all around us and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch and we're in the studio today. I would like to take you back to the painting that I uh, was working on during our last episode. We were in Bayfield, Wisconsin, and it was in the fall. Um, I had blocked in the building and, the, um, and some of the greenery and some of the trees and everything. And then I took it home to my home studio and I worked on it and I, and I finished it. So here's the finished uh, painting. And this is the oldest restaurant in Bayfield. It's been around since the 1940s um, or maybe even longer. And, uh, and it was fall, it was really beautiful. And so this is my rendition of, of Bayfield uh, in autumn, Bayfield, Wisconsin. So uh, without further ado, let's talk about what we're gonna do today. I was in De Pere, Wisconsin, uh, and I came across a, a, an older bed and breakfast. And I thought that it would make a great painting, so I pulled out all of my things out of my painting supplies out of my car, and I set up and I sketched it in, just with the different colored paint where I was going to put it. Naturally, I was going to leave these cars out and just have this look like a hill or something. You have to, when you're painting, you have to be careful that you're not so true to the subject that you put in things that are not necessarily there, uh, or that need to be there. So I took the liberty of just kind of washing that out. And then I can't remember what happened. I got a phone call, I think it was, and I had to leave and I wasn't able to finish the painting. And so this has been laying around in my studio, this board has been laying around in my studio with this drawing on it for a couple of months now. Well, you can see it was summertime. And I, I thought for today's show, I would take you on a, on a journey on the canvas and, and show you how I take something and use it as a springboard for a totally new direction. So today what we're going to do is we're going to journey through my memories. As a child, my parents traveled a lot around the holidays. We were always going someplace um, you know, at Christmas time, and I always wish, wished that we could stay home. And so as we would be driving either to or from um, somebody's house for Christmas, I would look in the windows and imagine what it was like inside that warm looking house with the people all around the table and it looked like they were laughing and I would imagine how much fun they were having. And I felt like I wish that that's where I lived instead of the back seat of the car. So anyway, not to get too sentimental on you, uh, once again, this is Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Linklish. And today we're going to take an ordinary photograph and we're going to turn it into home for the holidays. Take my palette. It's the basic palette that I typically use. I don't change that too much. As you can see, I have all of my warm colors over here and I have all my cool colors down below here. And I am going to um, be changing the trees the type of trees. Eventually when this is done, it's going to be at dusk or twilight. The house is going to be quite dark. The windows will be all aglow. There'll be a Christmas tree here with lights on it, snow everywhere. Back here will be 
some tall um, pine trees and they'll have snow on them and the sky will be quite, quite a bit darker. So as you can see, we've got a long ways to go. We better get busy. Okay, and thank you for joining us today. This should be fun. Stick around and we'll see. First of all, I think what I'll do is just um, get some ideas of the values that I want to use um, and sort of daub them around the canvas to kind of get a darker feeling to this. Um, it's so light right now. I, I, it's hard to imagine making it look like a, you know, a early evening Christmas scene. But we can do it. You know, that's the wonderful thing about being a painter. As long as you have paint, you can do anything. It's your baby. All right. Got a nice dark kind of a grayed green mixed up here. And I'm going to go back over here behind the house and I'm just going to block in some trees. Now I'm working very fast and very loose because right now I'm just blocking in. It doesn't really matter. Um, the snow, everything else will have to come on later. Right now I'm just looking for um, shapes and values. And I want that to be back behind a little bit, I think. There we go. Nice dark greens. Okay, and then we're going to mix up a nice darker sky. Color. You have to forgive me, I forget to talk. <laughs> when I'm mixing, I get so caught up in my thoughts. Concentrating on my thoughts. Hmm, this looks pretty, I think. Let's put a little bit of it up here and see what we think of it once it hits a canvas. I am working on a canvas board today. It's, um, it's a little different than working on a stretched canvas in that there's not much give to it. Yeah, I kind of like that. I have to mix up some more of it now. Okay, a little bit more blue. There we go. Want it to be nice and and that wonderful feeling at just as the sun has gone down and it's not completely dark yet, but it's almost, paint is thick today. Now I know in the picture it shows a tree hanging down in the foreground. I'm not gonna have that in there, I don't think. It would just be more dark if I did, and I, don't, I think by the time I'm done here, we're not going to need any more dark in, it, in the painting. And you see I'm working very fast. I want to get something laid on here so that I can um, There we go. And I have to determine also if I want a cool painting or if I want it to be 
uh, a warm painting. And if I want it to be warm, then it has to be predominantly warm with just a little bit of cool. So I may need to add a little bit of red to this sky to kind of warm it up, kind of an orangey red here, to kind of warm it up a tad. Because I do want this to be warmer looking. There we go. That's better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to get too much of that green in there. Okay. All right, and then maybe we'll just go in here in the, do in the top part into the um, upper sky, and maybe we'll just darken it just a wee bit. Okay. Just make that just a little bit darker so we have the feeling that the that the um, the darkness is ascending. I know I work, I paint very fast, and I've had a couple of people that have seen the show ask me, Kitty, do they speed up the camera? Your brush is moving so fast. But I've learned that in order to... Um, get something going here in, uh, in uh, an hour's time, the, the time that we have allotted for the show, I have to paint as fast as I can. And it has a kind of a red roof. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna glow um, too dark, but it is gonna, not gonna be that bright a red. So I'm darkening the red for that roof. Now remember, all of this is coming out of my imagination and the experience that I've had from painting. Um, it's, as always, a 50-50 chance of a mess or a masterpiece. But the nice thing is, is that I have that opportunity to take it home and re um, to fix it up, you know, redo what I need to correct and um, make it pretty for you. All right, so my picture shows this is coming down just a little bit more like this and then this is just coming like that okay now I may I may add a little more red to that I'll have to see as I go here yeah, how well that shows up. Maybe I will add just a bit more. But now, now we're starting to get the feeling of, of it not being so light. We're starting to get the feeling of where we're going here with the, the, uh, the dark. There's that fireplace there. And this this is coming up here like so. And then coming down, okay. And that's coming like that. Okay. Now then, we have this red roof. This also coming right across here. And that's the roof of the porch. This was a bread and bed and bread, bed and breakfast um, in De Pere. I never stayed there, 
but I thought it was such a quaint looking um, building that I wanted to paint it. And when I started this, I didn't have the idea of, I didn't know yet what I was going to actually do with it. Whoops, a little off there, kitty. Okay, now we're starting to, okay, now uh, the building itself in the dark, because it would be in shadow, it would be quite a bit darker. And it's brown, so I'm going to take some of the green and add to this red mixture that I've been using on the, the roof. Okay, I think that's a good, a good choice. Get a different brush here. And, all right, right under here. Coming down. There's no window there. Now there will be snow I don't know that I'll be able to put the snow on today. It would be very hard to put the, uh, the snow today uh, because the white would not, um, there we go. A little darker right there. Okay, I think I better do the windows. Put that soft glow of color in the windows. The lights are definitely on in the windows. It's warm. By the time we get done, I'd like to have some Christmas lights in here. In the windows. All right. Now that'll all be lightened up later. It's a window there. And I believe that this is like a door here that we're going to have lit up. Okay. So window up here. Okay. This fireplace is a little bit lighter. to have him in there. Okay. Now you can see we have the trees that, that I've drawn in here. Uh, we're not going to have that. I guess I could put a tree there though. There was one. But I don't want, since it's Christmas, I don't want it to be a, a uh, deciduous tree. I want it to be an evergreen. So I'll put, probably put an evergreen in there. I think that would be better. Okay, there. All right, now let's, we're gonna get some light on here. And for that snow.
As you can see, I'm just sort of blocking it in. Now the snow isn't going to be white, white. It has different um, colors in it. You know, you would never want to make your snow just white, white. It's, it's not, snow is made up of all different uh, types of colors. So I'm mixing up a real pale, sort of a violet and a blue, and, uh, and then I'm gonna let that set up a little bit after I put it on. And um, then I'll put the color of the lights on it. Let's see here, which brush do I want? I guess I'll use this one here. That'd be a good one. Okay, now over in here, that's gonna be, not real sure how I'm gonna handle this yet, but I just wanna get some of this darker color on here for the, for the snow and the, the snow here, I think it's going to be coming in a downward pattern, like it's falling, like it's uh, this is sitting up on a ledge. I think that that would be really um, kind of nice to have that look like it's going. Uh, there's a hill here, and we can have the lighter snow right in there with the color on it. Maybe we'll have just a little tad bit of color coming on here to kind of perk it up a little bit. All right. And then we may even go a little darker in here. All right. There. There, okay, maybe a little lighter right in here. Now, you know, you have to bear with me because the journey today is through my memories and my imagination. And that's quite a bit different than being able to refer to something that I'm doing um, and compare. That's very, it's, it's, it's very different. So you have to bear with me because only I know where I'm going. And quite frankly, I don't know where I'm going. What happens, happens. It's one of those kind of mystical moments as a painter. Now I know I'm gonna have a, I think I'll put the Christmas tree on this side. Um, I was going to put it right in here, but I think, hmm, if I have a fir tree here, and now you see, you see how I have to think about what I'm going to do. I have to, to kind of like, you know, work this out in my mind. What's going to be a good composition here? That's very important. What, what shapes are going to be the most pleasing? I think um, I had envisioned all the time this tree right in here. And if I have a fir tree here, I think what I'll do is I'll just make this a house a little more and then have a, a smaller tree here. Yeah, I think I, that's what I'll do. And I'll still have the, the Christmas tree here with all the lights on it, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So now we have some rolling snow and the snow is, is getting darker the further back it goes. Now you can kind of see a little better where we're going. It's looking like a very cool painting and that's okay, that's okay, it can be cool. 
can be cool. And we'll have all of our Christmas lights, and that will give it the warmth that we want. As I was saying earlier, if a painting is mostly cool, then you want just a little bit of warm in it somewhere. And my lights will give me that warmth. Okay, I want this to kind of come down. Oh, come on, kitty, you're getting into finish, and you don't want to go there. All right, let's see here. Let's finish blocking in this building. We'll fix the windows later. Crooked windows, kitty, crooked windows. All right, there we go. There, that's so better. Okay, now over here, we have the dark. And it's right in here. Mm-hmm. You notice I put the windows in first so that I can hopefully um, resize them. Okay, so that's the building on that side. Um, now then, there's a dark area coming like this that is darker on this roof right here. Oops. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to come in with my, my sky brush and I'm going to re come over this sky right here. There we go. Things get all crazy and so we'll just come in from the back side and fix it. And then there. And the little bit of the color of the roof that's in the sky, that's all right. It's a painting, not a photograph. OK, so this is coming down like this. That's a little bit darker on that side. Okay. And pretty soon we're going to have to put in the um, this porch is going up like this. And there's an angle. There's an angle right here. All right. Okay. This underneath here is very dark. because that is a porch that is sticking out right there. And there are 
um, fence and uh, not fence, but uh, porch. You know, the posts on the uh, the uh, porch railing. All that'll have to go in. But there again, these things are are what have to be put in after after the painting sets up a little bit. It's not anything I can do today. So you'll be in for a nice surprise when you see this next time. All righty here. We're just going to scumble that in, get it covered. I just got noticed that we're already halfway through the show. I don't know how it happens that the show goes so fast. Okay, and then this is dark over here, even a little darker, and this is dark under here. All right. Okay, now that's where we're going to go back just a little bit further here. I'll probably put in a window on the side here. We'll have to wait and see, though. And this is where a tree is going to be. And you fir tree. And it's going to have some snow on it. And it's going to be coming up. You can, probably cannot see um, the difference now of this tree, how it's going to be. But don't worry, it's going to be in there. Add a little bit of blue here. Maybe that'll make it pop a little bit more for you so that you can see it. And a little bit more green. Okay, and the branches are going to be coming out here. Be a, quite a big tree. And then when we put the snow on it, it will show up so much better. Okay, I'm going to have to wipe out now. My wipe out tool is here. I'm going to wipe out because I want those branches coming way down here. I want him to seem like he's very close to us. All right. Isn't this fun? Doesn't look anything at all like what you saw at the beginning. I'm working fast because I want to have a little better idea for you before the show ends so that you'll know what you have to look forward to on our next episode of Painting Journeys. There we go. See? It's starting to look like a tree. What can I say? There. And there. Now we'll, have, we'll be putting a little more snow on there. Now then, let's wipe out where the little, shall we make it a Charlie Brown Christmas tree? Remember Charlie Brown Christmas trees where, where they were kind of skimpy and small, lopsided, crooked? Should we do that? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to wipe it out with my trusty wipeout tool. And 
and and I want it to be I want it to be kind of a of a wide tree. I like I like little fat trees up where I lived for part of my childhood in the Pacific Northwest. We had beautiful, beautiful trees to decorate for Christmas. Yeah. You know the holidays, they always make you feel so nostalgic. And you just, you just, ah, uh, you know, you remember all those things and how it was. And, you know, and it's a good thing. Oh, you know, we're so lucky to have those memories. We truly are, whether they're good, bad, or, or um, somewhere in between. We're still very lucky that we have those memories because no matter, no matter what, there's good in there somewhere. Good memories. Good times, good memories. And our memories are what makes us, I believe, part of what makes us who we are. How we've lived our lives, what we've given to others, what we've received from others. That's all part of, of our life and our memories. And we have those to, to thrive on, to, to feed on during the holidays. It's a blessed time. It's a wonderful time. I'm making this tree a little bit lighter, and he is going to be a little bit lighter because he's going to have Christmas balls on him, lights, Christmas lights, all different colors. And I'm going to make the big old-fashioned ones. I like the big old-fashioned ones. The ones they have nowadays are those little LED lights. Sure, they may take less electricity, but oh, goodness. They don't glow, and they don't have the, the feeling, the same feeling. But he's going to have a lot of light and a lot of snow on him, so that's why I'm making him a little bit lighter instead of painting him really dark. Okay. And then all this snow down below here is this underneath him is going to be covered with color. He's going to be um, putting um, casting color across the. He's going to be casting some yellows. And he's going to be casting some reds. Just a little bit here and there. And you see what I mean? You kind of get the feeling now? Yeah. Okay. Now let's see here. He needs a trunk. I think that should be a little browner, a little darker in there. There he is. Uh, he's just waiting for some Christmas lights. And I'm just going to put a few on, just for the fun of it. So you can kind of get the idea of where I'm going here. 
Put a little star on the top. You know red is my favorite color, so I'll probably end up with more red lights on my tree than, than any other color. I should put some blue on there too. Okay, we'll, we'll put some blue. Let's put some pretty, pretty blue. And then, oh, they don't, doesn't show up good. All right, we'll lighten the blue. There. All right, okay, so that works. And then I think in the foreground here, we're gonna have to darken that a little bit, the blue we have in the foreground. Yeah, right in here. Let's darken that a little bit there. Because we want that to look like and then we'll take a little bit of this lighter, more golden snow and bring that down and so that it kind of looks like drifts. Yeah, there we go. And maybe a little more pink over here. Oops, it's too heavy. Oh, but I do love that color. I love that color. Yeah. And then we're going to have um, we're going to have some gold shining out of the windows, kind of a light gold color, because the windows are going to be on the reflecting on the on the snow, and we're going to have the reflections of all this, and maybe we'll let's see here. Okay. Let's see if we can do something more with those trees in the background. Let's jazz them up a little bit um, and make them look a little more like, like trees. And of course they have snow on them too. Oh, but we do want them to be kind of dark. Maybe they should be just a little higher. What do you think? I think so. I think we should have one that's a little higher here that's coming up. And... Coming down, and we need to get back into this darker color here. Okay, we want that to be really dark behind there. I'm not too happy with the way that's looking, but there again, you know, when <clears throat> you have an hour to make something look um, somewhat presentable, okay, now we only have 15 minutes left, kids. Whew. All right, let's see here. Okay, this is going to be very dark back in here. And so that this little tree shows up in front of it. And this is going to be a little more shadowy back in here.
I guess that lighter look is helping to make it seem like there's snow on that. That's kind of a good thing, I think. This is going to be much brighter right in here. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can take our You know what I just realized? This roof should have snow on it. What was I thinking? Of course it shouldn't be red. It should be have snow. And there should be icicles hanging down. See here if we can do that real quick. Okay, now we got to wipe that pretty clean because if we don't, that red is going to bleed through and we're going to have a pink roof. It's the only thing I don't like about painting over red. It really bleeds through. It's a strong, strong color. All right, but oh, am I going to like this better with snow on the roof. I can see it already. Yeah, what a difference this is going to make. Okay, so I'm just going to probably put it on pretty thick right now because in order to try to cover that um, um, in order to try to cover that red. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Not that thick. Oh boy, that's going to make the difference, isn't it? I can see it now. Now, please, 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 let's make a straight line here. Not too bad. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's looking a lot better. I won't worry about this little off color stuff. I'll I'll take care of that later. Right now I just wanna get this on here and what a difference this makes. I'm so glad I thought of it. See, you truly are journeying through my, with me uh, through my imagination and my memories and my knowledge as an artist of what to do and what not to do. And sometimes, even though I know what not to do, I do it anyway. Oh, well. There we go. There, that's looking better. And let's see here, we have a little light coming right over. Oh, I just got the word. Now we only have 10 minutes. Why do we have to stop? Hmm? Why do we have to stop? Why do we have to say goodbye? Till the next time. I don't know. There we go. There, that's so much better. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. That is so much better. All right, now let's see here. 
Let's see if we, we can add a little interest to those windows. Maybe this window up here, maybe it'll have a little pink in it. Oh, I think this is really too, that's too, um, but it would be better not to have it be so bright yellow. So we will go ahead and try to calm that down just a, just a little bit. And then we did have, um, there, yeah, that looks better without it being so bright. And I'm picking up some of the background and it's going into my color of the, that I have put on here, but it looks better because it's softer. It's not so garish. There we go. And this window over here, we'll just kind of put like a little bit of red in this window. Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Now all we need is some um, feeling like maybe the snow is a little higher in some places. That's coming down that way. There we go. That's going up this way here. There we go. Oh, I see. We haven't wiped out that the uh, porch. This is such a tricky, handy little thing, this wipeout tool. I just love it because it just takes that paint right off of there. I think, as I used to tell my students, I think your wipeout tool is one of the most important tools in your tool case. All right. Now, now we'll put some white on there and and of course now this is going to have a little bit of the glow of the the window on it so it's going to be not quite so gray okay That's windows lighting that up All right now. And then the rest of the snow over here is a little bit darker. You see that, how the, the window is shining on the, on the snowy roof? I hope you can see it. Pretty subtle, I know. And then this is coming here. All 
like so. This is coming here. And then this side over here is going to be a little bit darker. Snow's going to be a little bit darker, I think, right in here. And yeah, there we go. Okay, and I think that this should be just a little bit darker too. All right. Let's see here. Well, it's it's a start. We've got a lot of way, a long ways to go on it, but it is definitely a start. Um, let me see here. I don't dare. I don't know if I dare put this porch on or not. I know that there's some a post coming here, and there's a post coming here. And there's a post coming right here. Okay, and so let's see, what can we do here? Real quick, little two minute shot here. Okay, we need a little bit of light on that to make it show up. Whoops. Alrighty, let's see. I think that I better not touch too much. I think we better just go ahead and call it quits for today. There we go. But I hope you can can get the feel of of how this is going to be when I take it back to the studio and finish it. There's, there's a lot of finish work on it, but at least I took it from, from the photograph that I showed you and I've made it into a Christmas-like scene. And um, I think it'll work. What do you think? I hope you'll join us next time. My name is Kitty Lynn Klish. And once again, this is Painting Journeys, and you've been journeying with me through my past and my, my um, imagination, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye for now.